welcome back to the channel. Going to uh, Colwyn Bay. Going to meet a good friend of mine. And uh, just reverse up this road here. Yeah. See to that. To my mother. Just picked up my washing. I have fair play to her. She's a. Uh, she's bloody awesome. to Colwyn Bay, spend the night up there, Earless Park, and uh, yeah, go from there, see you in a bit. Recognize this lad? <laughs> How are you doing? Do, huh? Alright, bud. Do you want to fell on you then? Yeah, hello. Probably here, I'm not worried about. Left me tripod in the van, I can't be bothered going back for it. Look at the weather we got here. Bloody beautiful. Yep. Number two coming again. Go. Right in the bin. Don't you go in that water. <laughs> oh my god. It's like a loaded gun. Sitch, kid. The weather here is stunning. Fair dues. Good old Wales, eh? Having a wee? And here it comes. What? Too bad. Right. First things first. Got a bit of water in that kettle, really. Get kettle on. Why not? Yeah. Turns to a vape rather than smoking. I am an ex smoker and uh, yeah. Better than buying fags. I might not be doing it next month, it's just this month. Yeah, I needed something. So. Uh, turned up here. Got some washing here I still got to put away. Been to my mum's this morning, she done all my washing for me so yeah, bless her. These go in uh, the tub underneath the bed so I got to pull everything out, I just couldn't be bothered that my mum's doing it. So I'll do that in a minute. Oh my. This is what I'm looking at when I'm sat here. That's uh, Brian, Manchester Van Life. 
been talking and he's just gone to make a brew now. He hasn't been here long. I've been here and he was about 10, 15 minutes before me setting up and everything. So, yeah. Gonna make a brew. I've got mine. Because you all know me, always got time for a coffee. <laughs> yes, haven't we? And you're on lead and you don't like it, do you? No. Yeah. Just that it's a car park, there's loads of dog walkers that come here, so yeah. She's over friendly, she goes to other people and see their dogs and some people don't like it, so yeah, she's on lead. And yeah, yes. Oh, grab that. Just had a chat with Brian now about the door. Oh, thinking of places where to go this year and stuff. And uh, so I was saying to Brian that I want to go to the Lake District this year. And I do want to go to Scotland on the East Coast. The West Coast has been a hit and miss for me. There's not a lot there to, to do and see. It's just more driving on that west coast but the east coast John O'Groats down yeah I fancy that this year but not in the peak of, of summer with all the midges yeah I don't fancy that at all if, if somebody's gonna get bit it's me and yeah they'll have a field day on me so spring or autumn yeah I fancy Scotland this year hey there's loads of dogs here so she's <laughs> Bit excitable, aren't you? This van's smart as hell. I'll give you a little uh, insight look on it in a minute. Well, in a bit. His dog Buddy was barking like mad when he was here, so he's just gone to settle in. Ah, Colwyn Bay, I'm at. Earlis Park. This is the park of Earlis Park. Bloody beautiful here, but that wind is biting. It's it's not warm, warm. It's it's quite chilly to be honest. But the sun puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Yeah, it does me anyway. Always puts a smile on my face when the sun's out. Don't know why I'm sat like that. We are gathered here today. I might put me uh, patchwork coat on. Get a bit warmer. Here there's dogs there. You can't go and play. No, you can't play with them. You're too big and you're boisterous. If you didn't punch the dogs and try and flip them over, you could play. <laughs> Still rocking these two power stations as well, all powers, and I got this energizer one. I got my big all powers down here which has been an absolute rock star still on 55% and to be honest I haven't charged that for about four four and a bit weeks probably five weeks if I'm thinking about it yeah close to five weeks I haven't charged that so and I use it every day my phones my ear pods yeah so thinking of getting a little clock radio it produces it takes one watt of power it's got batteries as well but it's got a mains adapter and it says that it's it only takes one watt so it'd be nice to have a little radio going on here all the time because I'm usually not using my phone but when I'm recording I can't and then I don't like using the one in the dash of the van because it takes your battery doesn't it so I'm thinking of getting one of them See how long, uh, how much power it actually uses in like an hour, and then I'll judge it from there. Here, yeah. yeah, my batteries have come up, my lanterns, look at them hanging. It's all in bloody speed bumps. <laughs> I'll fix that now. Let's stay for now. Shut up. Yeah, mate. Come on. <laughs> Six foot away. It's because you don't lead, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, you nice.
Let's see, Brian's there. I was there. But I moved to by here. So I got that grass now for her. She's got her own garden. And uh, that's going to be my view in the morning from the back doors. These stickers are looking pretty good, to be honest. I know it, it does need a bloody good wash. But, yeah, shut up. Bloody dog, honestly. But, yeah, looks pretty good. Good for them. Yeah, got the sun coming in now. Warming the old van up. <laughs> that bad boy's going on in a minute. Look at that sun coming in. Well, it's super smashing great. <laughs> comments I had in the last video for that were brilliant. So thank you very much for your comments in that. Super smashing great. Who remembers this one? Fan Dabby Dozy. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. My nose is running because even though the sun's out and it's warm when the sun's actually on you, when you get in that breeze, oh, it's biting. It's bloody cold. Yeah, bloody lovely when you're sat here because you're out the wind, you got the sun. Oh my god, it's bloody warm in here now. Can't win, can we, eh? Out there, it's bloody cold in here, it's bloody hot. That's bloody lovely. Got the view of the palm trees here now, I'll show you in a minute. If it wasn't for these, there's a couple of cars parked here, if it wasn't for them, yeah. Be bloody fantastic. Who remembers this? Tonight, Matthew, I want to be Elvis. <laughs> oh, the sun does things to you, doesn't it? Puts you in a good mood. My personal drum machine. What are you doing? I'm licking my coat. Your coat licker? Mm. You coat licker. Mm. Well, really, you like Brian? Oh, all right. I like Brian and all, he's a good friend. Yeah, see, if it wasn't for them cars, they'd have all them palm trees there. Eh? There's a view. I'm trying to keep out of that sunlight. You're not going to see it because if I move in. That's not that bad actually. <laughs> yeah, see, tonight I'm thinking of uh, I got chicken casseroles up here, I got chicken curries, I got everything here. I'm thinking of a chicken casserole with new potatoes so I'll film that later I'm going to do a bit more cooking on my ch I, I cook all the time but I'm going to film it I mean what am I you know what I do what I use and um, yeah I'll give you a rating of one to ten on the taste <laughs> oh god it's warm in here now yeah Good move that, I think, on my part, moving from there, because I was facing, my door facing the other way, it was all in the shade. And, uh, yeah, you could feel the cold, whereas now, tropical. Oh. Oh. This is the... Uh, Car park. See the braise over there. Stood in the doorway. Got a kettle on as well, I'm gonna have a brew. She's there. In the garden. If life got any better, I could boogie with an action man. Got the back uh, curtains open now, so yeah, got a nice view. 
of the lake and all the swans and everything. Yeah, I think Brian's having a nap. <laughs> he just drove two hours up here, like so, yeah. Let him have an hour or so. Yeah, just been to his van, and not he? Yeah, nobody there. Well, his door's shut. But he's in the front window, so. Yeah, that was only a cheap guitar, and I mean really cheap. And uh, it's got a lovely tone on it, and when it's plugged in, because it's a, it's a electric acoustic. Oh my God, yeah, it's it's really nice. So some of the people that on open mic nights, you know, they got expensive guitars, and that matches them. So yeah, chuffed. Guard in the home. There's not even anybody there. Very, very popular, you know? You stopped farting, uh, did you that? Yeah, the sun's getting low now. Not be long, it'll be past them trees and it'll be cold because it went in a bit earlier and uh, you, yeah, it went really cold here, so... Yeah, been there on the field, on the grass area. And I launched the ball with a ball launcher and uh, it was just thick mud. But yeah, it was this day to one of my towels. My jeans and my jumper, my new jumper covered in mud, so... Yeah. <laughs> Not so worry. Uh, that's why I'm in different clothes. <laughs> yeah, I right, just made a coffee now. Sun's gone down now, and uh, yeah, the temperatures dropped dramatically. It's bloody cold. I got the diesel heater on. 
just to warm things up. It's well, it's just gone up now to 15 degrees. It was it was bloody cold earlier, stood out there, and uh, yeah, she's coming now. She's knackered, running round after a ball. So yeah, just letting you know that, uh, how cold it is when the bloody sun goes in. It's only quarter past four as well, so I'll probably have me tea about five. Yeah, about five-ish, so I'll bring you back when I'm going to prepare that and cook it. <laughs> One pot wonder. <laughs> See you in a bit. That's what I'm thinking of having, uh, chunky steak and gravy with peeled new potatoes. They're already pre-cooked, you just heat them up. In that big boy. Oh my god, it's like stewing steak, it all breaks up. So, oh my god, not chewy at all, that is just melting your mouth. Yeah, initial taste. Oh wow, I'm going to give that a good solid seven and a half, that is really nice, fair dues for tin food as well. Oh, good morning, not you, I am, oh, come on, on my bloody bed again this morning, bugger. It's 12 degrees in here, but bloody hell, it feels colder. I'm going to have to get a new thermostat thing because I don't think that's true and it's true. Temperature. Bloody cold in here. Turn that off. Turn that one off. Boots on today. Socks, uh, merino wool. So yeah, they're extremely warm. And with these boots, oh, little tortillas are like fish fingers cooked. <laughs> oh dear. Let's just make this bed quick. Pull everything off. Oh, up for the 
Oh, I just wake up a bit, girl. Can't quite yet. I haven't been here in a week before. And uh, with the school up here, you get a lot of parents coming up here to drop the kids off. That's what's woke me. All the cars. So you can't go out just yet. We make the course clear, don't we? Yes. It's a bloody chilly one up here this morning. Bloody hell. Oh dear. That's flapping in the wind. <laughs> oh my god. Bless her. When I was in the van getting ready to come out, she was looking at me a bit desperate. <laughs> no messing. Yep. <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah, it's bloody cold here this morning. Oh, I mean, proper cold, biting. Get a stick, there's no shit in the mouth. Yeah. Some blue sky. And if you can uh, make that out, but uh, yeah, that view. It's nothing spectacular, you know. It's not a mountain range or a reservoir, river, lake, but it'll do me. It'll do me just nice. <laughs> Brian's got his van going, he must have his diesel heater on. Oh, I put mine on before I come out, so when I'm hoping that I get back, it'll be uh, a bit warmer than it was in there. Bloody hell. Yeah. These palm trees here, <laughs> a little row of them. Bloody awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Come here. That's where I am. That's where Brian is. There was a camper there last night, a white one with uh, two cats in. Yeah, it kind of made me chuckle a little bit because uh, she had them on a lead, taking the cats for a walk on a lead. Uh, you don't see that often, so yeah. Put a smile on my face. <laughs> oh. Sage, I got a coffee already made up. Come on, bugger. Yeah, what's going on for you? I don't know if you can see it steaming. Oh, yes. Got a sort of front fascia out for them, I think. I'll take them plastic drawers out and put wooden ones in. Because, uh, yeah, it kind of looks a bugger from the outside looking in. The way the van is at the moment, that's like, to me, the only eye saw when you're looking in. You might think different, but for me, that's it. <laughs> so I might do away with the plastic drawers and make wooden ones. And not add other drawers. No, I don't think I'd use sliders either, I'd just use them to and then lock them as when they're in. So I could take the whole drawer out should I need then, you know. Ah, we'll see. Right, I'm going to end this video. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And uh, to all my new subscribers as well, thank you so much. And uh, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, press subscribe. Please go on, <laughs> please. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you so much. From this one, Sage. From this one here, and myself. Take care, guys. Till the next time. Be good, be safe, and as always, enjoy yourselves. Take care. Till the next one. Bye.